Hello everyone. This is lecture 14 of series of data analysis. So just data analysis series lecture number 14 which mentioned smoothing technique of time series forecasting. Then what is the meaning of smoothing technique? Several techniques are available to forecast time series data that are stationary but that include no significant trend, cyclical or seasonal effect. So these techniques are often referred to the smoothing technique. A smoothing technique is the irregular fluctuation effect in the time series data. So just smoothing technique is used for assess the discrete nature of data or discrete nature of time series data. The general category of smoothing techniques are described by three process. First one, NAP forecasting. Second one, averaging model. And third one, exponential smoothing. So for the easy analysis, today we will discuss the basic concept of second one as an averaging model. So just the next part related to the smoothing technique is averaging models. Then what is the meaning of averaging model? Averaging model or AM are computed by averaging data from several time periods and using the average as the forecast for the next time periods. So in the case of averaging model of simple average, which is one of the method of averaging model, in this process, forecast for time period T is the average of the values 
for a given number of previous time periods so it is given by the forecasting of model ft is given by x t minus 1 plus x t minus 2 plus x t minus 3 plus x t minus n and divided by number of count so the averaging model of the smoothing technique are computed by averaging data from several time periods and using the average as the forecast for the next period time and in the case of simple average in this process forecast for time period t is the average of the values for a given number of previous time interval so now we will discuss through an example the basic procedure of simple averaging model so first we consider the data of performance index of number of employee in a particular organization so just the, the time frame is january february march april may june july august september october november and december then performance index out of four of number of employee of year 1 this is the data of year 1 which is 4.5 4.04 4.07 4.27 4.34 4.52 4.35 and 3.25 so just now another data of year 2 of performance index and number of employee with respect to the january to december then the index is 
3.44 or by year 3 the data is 3. 3.35 3.31 3.71 3.77, and 4.07. So according to the forecasting concept, if we want to determine the value of performance index in a year three in the month of June, then what is the procedure? So, according to the simple average concept, we take the value of last year or year 2 from June to May of year 3 and we identify the forecasting value of year 3 of June. So, we gather the value from June, year 2, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, and May. So in that case, the forecasting of June of year 3 is given by 2.50 plus 2.96 plus 2.81 plus 2 2.92 3.50 3.69 3.5 Four four three point three five three point three one three point seven seven four point one six plus four point zero seven. So divided by twelve and is equal to the three point three seven. So the value of performance index in the month of June on year 3 is equal to the 3.37. After that, if we want to identify the value of performance index in the month of July in year 3, so then we consider the value from July of year 2. So 2 2.96, 2.81, 2.92, 3.5, 3.69, 3.44, 3.35, 3.31, 3.77, 4.16, 4.07, and 3.37. Then also identifies in a similar way the forecast value of August, September, October, November, and December. So this is the basic procedure to identify the simple average or the forecasting of data through the simple average under the technique of smoothing technique. So thanks for all of you.